All right, we want to prove that the following are inverses of each other, and they give us a domain limit of x is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so f of g of x. If f of g of x and g of f of x are equal to each other, then or equal x, then they're inverses of each other. So here, um, square root of x minus 2, or plus 2, minus 2, right here I'm plugging in uh, g of x, and then squared. So uh, what happens is the 2's cancel out, and I'm left with square root, of x, or square root of x squared, and I get x out. So that works. How about g of f of x? I get square root of x minus 2 squared plus 2. So the square root cancels out the squared term. So I get x minus 2 plus 2. And these cancel out, so I get x out. All right, so um, are inverses of each other. But is there any limit on the domain? And uh, yeah, there is um, x x uh, x is anything greater than or equal to zero because on g of x if you have anything less than zero in here uh, it's going to be invalid and it's okay here for g of f of x because anything anything squared ends up being positive so these are inverses of each other and x is going to be anything greater than or equal to zero that's it.